Hey guys, Darth Lork here, back with part two of our Far Cry 3 playthrough. So last time, we met Jason and his little Bobby friends. And, uh, they were, uh, we have all these new pop-ups again. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we met Jason and his friends. And, uh, although I expressed, no, I didn't, I don't dislike them, but I have no specific care for them, so... Kind of a mixed bag there. But regardless, we also managed to do a fair amount of crafting and looting because we did manage to find lots of creatures that we needed. And so, obviously, that's fantastic. So, I believe we have access to... Yeah, we have we have the STG-90 and the recurve bow with us currently. And uh, we have lots of good stuff. So, obviously, we have this tower because we can see. Um, there is these the Valsadox. The Valsadox? Valsadox? Um, we could, and we could go after that one, because it's, you know, it's right here. So yeah, we, let's go ahead and set an objective marker, and let's, let's just, let's just go, man. Let's just go in. Let's go in, dude. Alright. Fun fact, it's inverted. <laughs> Ew, dude. Alright, so yeah, you can hold, uh, X to bail out, use with caution, no kidding. And, uh, you can... You can look and you can steer. With this, you can look without moving your actual glider. In case you're wondering, see the sweet tattoo, my sweet tattoo, yo. And we're uh, coming in in style. You think these guys will see our sweet aerial ambush coming? Who knows? Is that a machine gun boat? Probably not. It's one of the easiest ways of taking down the the water, like any outposts that are near water. It's one of the best ways of doing it. I'm tempted to try and land somewhere over here. I wonder if I should... We also could just bail out into the ocean if I was at all concerned. Because I do need to land, so... I guess we could try landing on this little stretch of road right here. Alright, well... <laughs> My landing was coming in nice and smooth, and it just... Jason decided he was just gonna come in like a, you know, like a, I don't even know, like a, like a comet. For some reason, he believed coming in like a comet made more sense. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree on that front. Anyway, looking for like a, uh, there was several boats. I was about to say, I know I saw some over here. Ah, it's a, uh, it's a jet ski. That'll work. That'll work. It's still pretty early on, so taking this uh, little little outpost, I don't imagine it'll exactly be the, you know, the hardest thing in the universe or anything. Cross the land, baby. All right. Anyway, but seriously, doesn't take a lot. As you can see, we're already smoking. Doesn't take a lot. Okay. I'm gonna try and do this as intelligently as possible. Okay, so it sounds, it sounds like they have doges. I don't know, man. How do I undo that? Well, I guess we're committed now because I'm not to undo it. I can't hold my breath either. I don't have that. I don't have that perk. I don't know how high to aim either. I feel like I'm aiming too high. Nailed it. Rabid dogs. It sounds like. Shooting the cage will free the animal. Staying undetected. Stay undetected, and the alarm will not be triggered. I think the dude's body fell into the water. In case you're wondering. Is it freaking out about the body? No. I don't think they actually seen the body. I think the dude's body fell. Oh no, it's not in the water, but it's way on the dock, so that does help. There we go, there's a few other guys. Okay, I don't remember what the lightning bolt symbol guys do. 
It looks like there's probably only one alarm. Nice and quiet, like. Just a passing vehicle. I'm so ready to just ice this guy if he does anything funny. They don't know where I am, but obviously they saw that they saw a guy die. Oh. Oh dear. It's a problem. No idea. Must be some rebel screwing with us. the dog. Anyway, we'll worry about the looting and stuff after they're all dead, obviously. I'm trying to find that dog. There he is. You think I can shoot through here? Yup. Yup. Nobody panic. triggered. Now, wrong button. Uh, I think the time has come to loot the bodies. Okay. So I think that chest is actually inside. Got a whole bunch of new stuff. This guy. Hey, yeah, there was this guy. Oh no, that actually wasn't me. It's a cassowary, but I think I needed one anyway for some reason. But I think I need more than one, so it's not enough to get me whatever it is I, I was after. But it'll get me something. Okay, and then there's a chest. Okay. Okay. Inside. Beautiful. All right. Uh, we think we have some things to sell. And then ammo. Gonna refill my arrows. Okay. It was beautiful once. It will be again. Hopefully so, brother. Hopefully so. 
continue in the path of a warrior, oh. we should take a look at the jobs on the bulletin board. Who's the man? Me. Uh, a couple of uh, wanted dead quests and a hunting quest. All right. And uh, that's what I was looking for. I was about to say, I know somewhere there's a special quest somewhere. And then there's poker, but I don't know how to play poker. There's a racing league. Supply drop quests, which are, which I think it's like, I think you have to like race to get the supply, like get the supplies to, you know, like a certain thing. I think that's how that works. So I think we will uh, head that direction. Maybe we'll see what that's about. Okay. We are basically here. I wanted to get out of the way in case this little pathway is where you have to go. And I don't know if it would despawn the vehicle, although it looks like it's pointed somewhere else. So, looks like it. That's not. That's not the case. But I was worried it would be. All right. Anyway. So, uh, you get a reward in XP. Um, you have to. So it is a race. You have to race like between. You know, there, there's flare markers and stuff, which sounds like fun. Let's do it. Follow the flares. Yes, thank you. Just get it off my screen, please. Oh, the hope of this is not deep. It's not. Hey, oh. Money and XP. Super easy cheesy. Okay. Um, now, some of them are more intense, like the terrain this time wasn't bad at all. Um, but some of them are intense because they, uh, they are harder to, like, you know, it's, the drive isn't as easy, so. This one was pretty easy, but they are not all that easy. Now, this one is tempting to grab steady aim so that I can sometimes scope up a little bit easier. Takedown drag is tempting. Swimming faster is tempting. I think let's grab this steady aim so that I can look through a scope and, you know, nice and steady-like. Which I think could be really good. And then, over here, there's another chest. Okay. I don't think this means anything now, right? Like, you guys aren't going to care if I take this? Alright, looks like they don't. Okay, uh, so... That's not what I needed. Um, okay, so what we need to do now is see crafting. What do I need now? Uh, okay, I know weapon holsters are always pretty high priority. So, okay, I need a couple of deer. That's tempting. The good news is, of course, we have a bow, which is good for hunting. We actually need one more cassowary for another wallet, which is really tempting. Uh, loot is always tempting, and you need dingo pelts for that. Uh, okay, ammo is another really good one. You need buffalo for that one, though, which would be a lot harder. Grenade pouch is okay, but we'll keep our eyes peeled for another goat. They're pretty common. Uh, we actually need two goats, actually. And we need a couple of boars. And then rockets, we need one more deer. Uh, arrow quivers is another tempting one. We need one more tapir, hide, or tapir, however you say that. However you pronounce that. Um, so goats are in often in this area. Considering we're right here, it makes sense to hunt for some goats. So we need, I think we need two goats, I think is what I just said. But I know that there's, like, they kind of hang out on these hills and stuff, so we'll uh, hunt for a couple of goats while we're right here. Aha! Little goats! I don't know. I don't know how to cancel a shot when you're having it sighted up, you know. Okay, I need one more goat. I think. That was a bad shot. Ooh, that was a good shot. 
Okay, I actually think I even picked up that other one I other one I grabbed. No. No. Did I get him? No. Alright, whatever. Where's the one I actually shot though? Boy, this grass is hard to see. Kind of might need to shoot another one just so I can find what I what I shot him. Oh. Yay! Please. Oh god, he's gonna kill me. Good, hang on. I think he, I think he might he might he might be chasing goats. I think we're okay. All right. Uh, crafting. There we go. All right. We only need two for that. Okay. We actually do need one more goat. So we one more C4 or more grenades. I guess let's go grenades. Okay. I need one more goat. I would have already had him by now if not for certain parties I could mention. I shot something that wasn't. All right, well, go up there for all I care, you stupid creature. I wonder what the other goat I shot was. I mean, I really have no freaking idea. Like, it tumbled, it's dark, I don't know, dude. Is this the other one I killed? No, that's the one I already looted. There he is. Finally! Beautiful. Still the wrong button, though. I I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, uh, we need to go over here for munition. Nice. All right, there's a chest over here. Oh, it's probably underground. Probably. All right, anyway. Um, I think we can head back up the cliff side here. Uh, towards, yeah, I think we can head back up the cliff side towards where I was about to say. I think, think there is vehicles up here, and then let's look at the map. So I think there's just goats everywhere. Where, there weren't goats earlier when I kept looking everywhere. Just want to point that out. Okay, anyway. um, So we need deer. That was one of the ones that's like heavy on our list. We also need cassowary. I need one more cassowary, which I think is what that is. So I think we'll head over there. Hello, animals. For some reason, like, they're oddly hard to hit. You'd think running something over would not be that hard. You'd be wrong, though. I also think I hit a dog back there, but I don't, I don't even think I need him. I need more. I don't think I need any more. Doges. Whoops. Whoa! All right, we're good. All right. Looking for big, tall birds. Which really... The best strat probably involves uh, getting down on thine feet. Alright, anyway. Alright. Tall birds. That's what we're looking for. Aha! Okay, I think I might have hit the, I don't know, the wall or something? There it is. Just make sure there's any spare arrows over here. Alright, anyway. Yes! The wallet. The big fancy wallet. 
Alright, beautiful. Well, we got my wallet. That's one of the things I needed. The wallet especially is good, because that means if I find more, like... The wallet is especially good, because that means, like, loot, getting money, like, that's all really good things. And the more you can stockpile, the better it'll be for you. Because obviously, as you saw early on, see, as you as you can see now, we can carry up to $4,000 on us, which is really, really good. Um, but as you saw early on, you can max out your wallet really, really quickly. And then it's a waste when you find things, like when you find money on people and things like that. So weapon holsters is a high priority for me because I want to be able to carry more guns. So we need dingoes as well. But really, I think that's the, my next most important thing for me. Dog skin. Hang on a minute. I need one more dog. That's surprising because I know I saw. Where did I see dogs? I think I saw dogs down the cliff over here. But dogs are, like, literally everywhere. But this is where I saw them, was down there. But dogs are everywhere, so I'm not as worried about that one. But, um... There is a mission right over here. Which, I think we should maybe highlight that. Because I feel like that makes the most sense. To do something that's local. So, let's uh, head over there. I think it's right over this cliff. Right over the top of this hill over here. There we go. I think it's right up top here. Okay. And then, looks like there is a couple of chests here. Pardon me, sir. I'm just gonna... Don't mind me. Okay, it looks like there is other ones, but they might be on other parts. Anyway, hi, hello. Hi. We're selling? Selling? Selling what? Seriously? The Jason Brody and you're not keyed in or nothing? It's cool. I'm gonna school you. <laughs> yeah, you do that. We're a legit enterprise, yo. These islands used to be crawling with Japanese soldiers. You find a jet body, you snag the dog tags, and we buy them. What do you get out of it? We use the tags to find their families if they still got them, and ship the bodies back. For a fee. Of course, for a fee. The families get their loved ones, and we get to keep operating. This ain't goodwill. Fair enough. I'll let you know if I find any tags. You on board? <laughs> Hola! But I want you to give a discount to the families. What? For real, real? You want the Jason Brody's help, right? Ah, fine. I'm so going to regret this. Yeah, bro. It's kind of lame to sell the family, like a family's, you know, find a soldier and sell the, fan the family back his body. That's kind of not cool, man. It's not cool, man. Anyway. Um, alright, so there's a couple of relics there, but, uh... There is sharks over here. If I can find a gunboat, that's like often the best way to hunt, hunt for sharks. There's tapirs right over here. I think teleporting to the town, and then I think walking south. I think will be the will make the most sense because I need one more t uh, tapir for something or tapir. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I need one more for something. Um, so, and I think it was something good too. So, it makes sense. It's right over here. Let's go ahead and grab one, and then we can we can. Uh, Go take care of that. Although, while we're right here, we might as well handle this. Okay, and then refill my ammo. And I bought a bigger rucksack so I can hold a lot more. So that's the reason that I spent so much trying to refill stuff back just then. Okay, uh, we need one more of these. So let's go ahead and highlight. And then I think we'll probably just walk there. I feel like odds are we'll find something along the way. Oh! A vehicle, too. How convenient. Convenient! That'll work. Alright. Let's go, little car. Okay. So. We're basically there. I'm thinking they'll probably be in the darker part of this. Probably in the darker part of this wee little jungle. Like there! I don't know if I just missed three times, or... It's 
It's been a lot of arrows just then. <sighs> Where'd he go? There's like so many bushes. Finally. Pretty sure I probably just missed out all those shots. So, you know, shout out to my accuracy. Okay. Ah, it was a quiver. I knew it was a good one. And then we need we need bear skin. Yeah, you know, just casually we need bear skin. All right. So I feel like going right back to town and just kind of handling and just immediately refilling my arrows because A, I spent a lot, but also we finished my quiver. So it makes sense to... Uh, Go ahead and just buy a new sack of arrows really quick. It just makes sense. Wrong way. This way. Uh, okay, nothing to buy there, but we got lots more stuff to sell now. We get a big old fat discount, too. On uh, ammo. Alright, so now uh, we need deer. There is Looks like there is deer up here. I think we need dingoes, and I don't know if this is dingoes or dogs, but I know we need deer, so I think that's what we will do. Uh, I guess we'll go to this outpost, and then we'll head uh, north towards the deer. And we'll keep our eyes peeled for dogs or dingoes along the way. Okay, we're more or less here. Didn't see any dogs, but... Uh, but that's fine. Dogs are pretty common. I'm looking for... I am looking for... Deer, mostly. Now, I walk very slowly when I'm hunting because I my headphones are per turned up pretty high and I'm listening in case you're wondering in case you're wondering why there's uh, a lot of slow movement one of the things is hunting in these shadows is a little bit rough oh there go all the deer I think there's dogs or something chasing them bad timing Oh, okay. I was like, are those plants or are those deer? But I think they're plants. Um, I think that was a whole pack of deer, by the way. Or herd. I don't know if it's a herd or a pack or what. Uh, how many do I need of those deer? I think I needed a couple for some reason. I only need two for the holster, though, so that's not bad. And I think I needed something for something else. I need one more dog. Okay, I technically need four total deer. I only need two really badly, though. Oh, five deer, technically. Again, I only need two in, like, any kind of dire way. It's a pity there was a whole pack of, like, a whole herd of deer right here. Was being the operative word. They got chased off by dogs or dingoes or something. Which is fun. Up, oh, I see myself a deer. I hear danger music. I saw him over here somewhere. Whoa. Dang it. I'm never going to catch him. I mean, he would have to stop running because they're bullets. I mean, you'll never just straight up catch him. Oh, well. Let's try this again. Possibly. Got to get above this ridge, though. I can't see crap. Oh, he's running again. It's unfortunate. Really need him to stop doing that. Oh, I can see him now. Not that it matters. Take that tree! If that tree was the deer, I would have gotten him. Stupid frickin' tree. I'll chase you to hell, you stupid deer! Oh look, another one. Oh look, several more. Oh look, many more. Oh look, an army of them. I mean, I'm not gonna catch any of them, but... Where'd he go? Ah, didn't miss that one. Didn't miss that one. Give it. 
Booyah! Alright. The rocket pack is a lot less important to me than other things I could mention. Yes! Sweet, sweet victory. I'll take that. Alright, there's the two I really, really needed. Oh. Yes! There's three. Disgusting. Don't be such a baby, Jason. If it's a dog, I only need one. If it's a dingo, I'll need a lot more. It's a dog. Alright, anyway. Um, boop. Hey, puppy. Are you an enemy? It highlights him as an enemy. I mean, I have like no other interest in it, unless he unless he attacks me. I could use a couple more deer, though. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. Get back here. All right, where did he go? Oh, hang on a minute. There he is. These things are invisible. Look, there's a lot of these creatures. And they blend in very, very well. All right, I think I need one more deer, like total. I think those are dogs, not not dingoes. I need one more dingo. There's, there it is. Surely this is my last kill. Alright, I guess it's... Uh, oh no, I got him! I did get him. Alright, hang on a minute. Where'd he go? Oh, hang on a minute. Am I standing on him? I briefly saw X. Yes, there he is! See what I mean, dude? It's invisible. But that's the fifth one. I should be able to make everything I need now. Alright, but obviously, holster comes first. Holster! Next one I need is shark, so I actually need several sharks, but... Throwables was another one that I needed. Oh, wow, Komodo dragons! We actually have enough to go right to the next level. Okay, and then for rocket packs was the last one I needed. And then we need... Wow, we need a lot of dingoes. Wow, so much progress. We need, I think, four sharks total now. I think the next one we need for weapon holsters is sharks, which, if we can find a uh, machine gun boat, we can hunt it. Or, I mean, or explosives, actually, is a fine way of doing that. Regardless, though, that's so many pouches. I'm so happy. All right. We've been running all over this mountainside. <laughs> We're running all over this mountainside, dude. Okay. Well, that worked out well. I'm mostly just looking for any unique quests. Oh. Okay, there's there's one there. So I'm thinking... I think let's teleport here. Yeah, let's teleport here and then let's go ahead and head over there. Okay, here we are. Now, obviously, we need to replenish my ammo. We'll have a lot of ammo to obviously replenish. Because of... Uh, because obviously we got new stuff. Now, um, we could get another weapon. We don't have enough to get a weapon that's not like, yeah, we don't have enough to buy a weapon, but we could equip one, you know, like that one. It would be fine. I mean, again, for now, equipping anything is a good idea. Um, once we have more money or we unlock more guns for free, we can grab a different weapon, but for now, it'll work just fine. Um, let's go ahead and uh, hop in this Jeep and then let's, uh, drive on over to this quest okay well we're back but we already talked to this guy so I'm a little confused but like maybe there's another part to this or something else to say Hi. Selling? Selling? oh this is way like we already talked to this dude okay we're back um, maybe I left too soon last time or something but look even like it says even the crates respawned on the map which obviously ain't true so confusion I am confusion. I'm 
I'm a little curious to see why it still says there's things on the map, but anyway, yeah, we already did all that, so it's like, I don't know, although it looks like they finally disappeared, though, so that's good. Huh. And it just highlights three points on my map. Interesting. I mean, hey, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Alright, well, uh, is this one closest? Okay, it's like the artillery emplacement. Okay. I'm willing to bet going this way then makes the most sense. And it's like anything beneath? Do I have a wingsuit? I almost don't think I do, which obviously makes me hesitant to leap off the side of this cliff. Alright then. Uh. Then I guess we'll just grab a vehicle and drive like old-fashioned people. Gotta be, gotta be careful about turning around, though. Alright, so we can follow this little, uh... Whoa, dear. Ow. It's fine. Alright, we'll just... Let's just walk it's safer. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a cliff, but it's fine. The objective isn't that far away. Plus, we run, you know, fairly quickly. It's not bad. Do 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 do. All right, we're looking for Japanese soldier dog tags. One tag. Okay, there's one. Uh, I think the next closest one will be this one over here. Okay. Next one is right over here. But first. Could we, could we, could we please? Second just like walking around, throwing my arms around. Just like, eventually it'll give it to me. Give it time. All right, last one. Okay, last tag appears to be underground, maybe. It might be underground. I feel like there's a pretty good shot of that anyway. This place is creepy. All right, well, there's the soldier. Beautiful. All right, then let's uh, return to the return to the guy. Excuse me, sir. I'm back. I got them all. <laughs> we are done, man. You are a machine. You gave us enough to keep us busy for a year. I mean, I got three dog tags. How slow do you work, anyway? Anyway. But I guess that's beside the point. The point is, I did it. And I realized why we got it again. It's because it's like a finite area. I didn't realize it was like, okay, you know, there'll be three of them in this area. And if you leave, then obviously, you know, you fail the mission or whatever. I didn't realize it was one of those. So obviously I just, you know, took off. So obviously that kind of explains that, don't it? So we could hunt for some sharks. The issue is I don't know how easy it'll be to find a machine gun boat. And, uh... Maybe going to this one and seeing if seeing if one of those boats spawns, and because uh, we we need four sharks, so by itself that's not that hard. They tend to stay pretty up like close to the surface. So in the past I've had good luck with machine gun boats because you just roll up to them and you like park above them, shoot in the water, they float up or whatever, and then you just grab it and that's just kind of the end of it. So okay, ammo's all full and we sold the stuff we had, but let's see if we can find a machine gun boat. I. I think this one is on the surface of the... I think the, this is on the waterfront. Alright, well it is, but the boat they gave me was a jet ski. Which... I mean... <laughs> well, it wasn't quite what I envisioned, but... I mean, hey, they, if they continue... Going that close to the uh, edge of the dock, then maybe you won't be that bad. 
I mean, really, if I could find any boat, actually. Because, like, obviously you saw, you can just shoot them, you know what I mean? So, yeah, maybe let's take a jet ski. Because I can't shoot right off the jet ski, so... Let's see if we can find any kind of boat that has more surface area. And then maybe we can hunt some sharks. Okay, we are back. So, I'm on the same dock. I drove quite the ways on the coast, and I saw there's literally only jet skis in the water right now. So, clearly the game is in a mood. However, uh... Unless, I mean, we'll just, like, maybe run along the beach here, and if I see any obvious signs of sharks, then, like, you know, dandy. Oh, look at that. This is... Oh, hi, turtle. Sorry, turtle, I thought you were a shark. But I thought I shot. Shark-infested waters jumps into the- jumps into it. Oh, there he is! Beautiful. Well, that's what I really needed, though. Hey yo, we officially got enough so I can carry more guns. Well, you know, that's like the most important thing. Like, the other ones would be nice. We'll keep our eyes peeled. There is a shark beelining towards me. Oh, okay. But say, hey, yeah, as if I didn't see you, Mr. Shark. Freaking rocketing my direction. Alright, anyway. Point is, we got enough for the holsters, which is like the most important one. Alright. Let's go ahead and hop inside here. And I think we'll uh, grab a fourth weapon of literally any variety. And then we'll worry about like refining my actual guns later on. Alright, let's just refill my ammo. I need a little bit more assault rifle. Alright, is there anything I have that's like. Any options, obviously. So we have those which are free. I think maybe we'll grab a scorpion because it's free. Uh, we don't have any shotguns. We have like the other, but we already we're already holding like an AK or whatever. Yeah, let's just grab an SMG. Let's grab the scorpion, just because it's you know it's literally anything else. So we could put like extended mag, but I don't really foresee holding on to it. So I don't think it's even worth it's worth upgrading at all. I know I like the handgun. I don't imagine I'll have a super great love for the scorpion, but. We're holding on to it, and that's fine for now. The point is, now we have lots of guns. So that's good. Now, uh, I'm thinking the time has come to do something more productive. I feel like this makes sense. We need more radio towers, so let's uh, teleport to the outpost, grab a vehicle, and drive on over. Okay. We are here. It's playing danger music like I'm being pursued. I don't see any obvious signs of danger. I mean, you know, nothing too obvious. So really, maybe it's just the music going in right now. Okay. How did I not fall off? <laughs> That's why I gotta be careful, dude. Like, like I said, it's really easy to fall off, especially like when it's you start having to do these crazier jumps and stuff. It starts becoming very easy to fall off. It is very normal. And I have fallen off and died before in this game, so. It happens. Alright. I know it's really like in, in Far Cry 4 when they start going insane in the membrane with uh, towers. They start at making them like straight up like puzzles practically. And I know they do it in 4 and then they do it in... I don't think it's not a thing in 5 I don't think but in 4 is when they start really going crazy with towers. They're, they're not that bad in 3. 
But in 4, they start getting more complicated. They'll be like bees and enemies and all that jazz. I think some of them have enemies in this game, but... Or maybe even a lot of them after a certain point, but they're not that they're not that complicated. It's just easy to fall off because it's easy to miss a jump that it the dude he just won't grab the ledge or something, things like that, but sometimes. Sometimes. Alright. So what did we get? Obviously that's a third our third radio tower. Oh look guys, the recurve bow is free. <laughs> SVD though, that's any sniper's a good sniper. There's a new supply drop at my feet as well. Uh, okay, well that's the thing, if I take that zip line, I think this one will be better. Because that one leads down the mountain, and I kind of want to stay up on the mountain so I can do that supply line quest. So I'm thinking this, so we can get down, like, right at the feet of this thing. I think that makes more sense. And this is my favorite vehicle in this game, the dune buggy is my favorite vehicle in this game. It's the funnest one to drive. Oh, okay. I think I'm going this way. It felt precarious being on the cliffside like this. I'm ready. Let's do it. I mean, just listen to it. How could you not love drive? How could you not love it? And it's very, it's very responsive, and it's it's a great time. It's my favorite vehicle in the game. Came off that, came off that road sideways. It's like taking a lot on faith on that jump right there. They would have to be able to catch me to do anything. Nailed it. Not even gonna stop. Let's go. Alright, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that was a easy cheesy XP. Alright, anyway, um, so, we need, I kinda need to, uh, we could fall back here, or anywhere, really. This is the Medusa, really, that's probably what we, what we should do. So, let's go ahead and go here, and, uh, let's grab, let's grab an SVD, and, uh, cause it's free, and we'll probably replace the Scorpion, cause I'm least excited about that, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll switch to the SVD, and I think that'll be a really good plan. And at least that way we'll have access to a sniper, even if down the road we'll be getting better ones than than that, but it'll give us good access to a sniper for now at least, so. Sell that. Okay, uh, sniper, SVD. Replace the scorpion, please. Thank you. So there's no attachments for this one, but we can put a paint job on it. Uh, deep jungle, the wood, that's the classic SVD look right there. I like the chrome though. It it pops. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, so uh we have an SVD now. Let's see, anything else we want? Anything else that we have that what's not upgraded? I think the bow has a paint job on it. The recurve bow. Yeah, it's red, I remember that. Okay, our salt rifle, that's the one because we have an extended clip and stuff. I know that's upgraded. And our handgun is has a paint job, but there's no attachments for it, so for now, that's good. But now we have access to a sniper, so obviously I think that that's worth it. So I think we can finally do that main story quest. So at least now we have access to a sniper, so that's obviously great. And uh, for now, this will be the setup we run with. But let's grab a vehicle, and then I... Ooh, it's even a dune buggy. I'm so spoiled. And then let's uh, go towards the Medusa. Well, that's a problem. Okay, well, there's this... Uh, Looks like the bridge is out. So that's a thing. But also, there's stuff in these, uh... Couple of containers. Anyway. Um, I mean, we could try muscling through. This doesn't look that deep. I might be able to muscle past. But I think our objective is right around this corner. So I don't think it even matters. And I think I've done that before where I muscled the ve my vehicle over. And I got I managed to get around. But, and then, but I, you end up parking right here. Because it doesn't actually, like do anything for you. It doesn't actually do anything for you. With pirates. I need to find a lookout. Avoid detection. Use stealth to kill the patrolling radio operators and gain their intel. I think this guy is like really on his own and isolated if memory serves. 
don't recall anyone else being all that close to him. As soon as I can, I need to get an upgrade to increase my speed as I crouch walk. Okay, Jason. Time to take out those pirates. Just don't turn around and we'll be fine. Okay. Let's uh, get a vantage point. We're good. <laughs> For a minute, I was like, I think I'm stuck on some rocks. Okay, so there's one of the actual main guys, but I thought there was a few guys actually down this area, though. Like, a few guys on the main beach, but maybe that's on the other side, what I'm thinking of. Okay, so, looks like there's two guys on this level. One of the guys looks like he's, like, really deep inside the actual part of the ship. So, this other guy kind of feels like he's more on his own, the actual objective. Um, but, uh... Yeah, let's make sure he's actually on, on his own. Yeah, he certainly looks like it, I would say. Alright, maybe get a closer look at this guy. So this guy's like halfway in the actual ship. That was a great shot. Why would I sneak past when I could just kill everybody? Riddle me that. You don't have to sneak past if they're dead. If you tell me, if you make me do it as an objective, then alright, fine. Maybe I'll respect your whole be quiet, bro thing. But until you make it a mandatory objective marker, probably just gonna kill everybody. Because it's easier to sneak past somebody who's dead. Just a thought. I think this is on the bow. I think it's on the right on the very front of the ship. Or is it underwater? Well, as usual, uh, height tends to be a person's best friend in these games. I mean, in lots of games, but it comes to mind specifically in, uh, sh like, the Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War games. Uh, height is a person's best friend, and then in Assassin's Creed. It's the other game that comes to mind. And, uh, like, you know, the, the higher off, the higher up you are, the better off you'll be. And then, that kind of rings true in, in many, many, many different games, but I imagine it's something we'll, uh, probably stick to in this one. So we'll see if we can get on top of the ship, or at least go around to, like, a different side, maybe. See what our, what we're up against. Because I was about to say, it looks like there is a hole on this side of the ship. So we'll, uh, play this nice and quiet-like. But we're in the shadows, so it should be pretty hard for them to just see me. Okay, I don't think there's that many guys, because I don't recall this being that hard of a mission. There's a couple of guys, and a couple of them are in, like, trickier positions because they're, like, out in the open. But I don't recall the, this mission being all that difficult. There's another guy I was thinking of. I think that's the guy in yellow. This would be a lot harder if I didn't have a bow. I 
I'm a little hesitant to just go out and grab that dude's body. Okay. Not seeing a lot of other movement on here. Okay. Looks like there's lots of options over here. We could go up this way. Worried about sneaking around up high on a ship, though. But hey, maybe it'll be a good plan. Maybe. We'll see the angle, and we'll see how I feel about the angle. If the angle's really, really bad, then we will probably approach from a different way. Fucking rebels. Let us keep this shit hole. Okay. Okay. Not seeing any other movement, but I am watching for it. I mostly wanted my arrow back, to be honest. Now for the radio. Okay. Uh, imagine it's probably yeah upstairs. We're gonna have to run back through here and grab all like grab like all of these chests. I mean, I couldn't resist. That one was like right there. It doesn't say I have to. I have to remain stealthy, and I'm not even positive if there'll be anyone alive. But but still, at this point, let's not jinx it. In case you do have to remain stealthy. I really need to get an upgrade to be able to move faster while crouching, though. No, it would be a lifesaver. <laughs> I got a little close to the flame there. Don't worry about it. Technically, you could hop on here and jump up there. I'm a little more tempted to take a slower, methodical way, because I feel like that'll be really loud. And if there is a soldier up here, and if you did have to remain quiet... I'll be pretty pissed if I get caught after I did it so easily, you know? I'm really not even seeing or hearing anyone, though. I'm really thinking at this point that it's probably deserted. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. I hear noises. Okay. I actually already had body armor, but I guess I found... I guess I found more. Ransom videos at PC. He's ransoming them. I was told to light up buyers. Do it. 
After the money from the parents show up, the kids go onto the black market and we deliver them to the buyer. Double the money. Daddy likes. Hey, calm the chatter. Someone triggered an alarm at the Medusa. Morons. We're closer. I can see it right now. Shit, they're coming for me. Ah, well. Clearly stealth doesn't okay. matter anymore. It's now or never. Hey Dennis, I hit the Medusa. Now the pirates sent a message about Jason. Vas wants us dead. There's no time to talk. Come to a maniki village. We need your help. Wow, Dennis has shut that down. He's like, bro, it doesn't freaking matter. Shut up. That's <laughs> just like, alright. Team like, same team, bro. Same team. Alright, anyway. Well that was easy. <laughs> Dealing with the actual enemies, that is. They, uh. Hey, look at that. I leveled up. Uh, okay. So, Death from Above, Syringe Potency, Hip Shooter. Not that good. Reducing damage from explosions is very tempting. But I feel like at this point, uh, let's see. Hold it to reload while sprinting. That's tempting. Knife Throw Takedown. Doing the different takedowns is really good. Because there's lots of times when they're line up. Move faster while crouch. That's tempting. I think let's grab Expert Swimmer. Mostly just so we, whenever it's available, we can grab... Uh, we can run faster while crouched. So, Oh, did we uh, have something else to... Combat. Enhance Perception. I guess. Okay, uh, actually, I think we had a more... Yep, there we go. Okay. Healthy Jen, thank you, good talk. Okay, so I'm thinking... I don't, don't know where that other one is, but... Uh, there we go. I was say, I know we can get some... Some things from their bodies. So it makes sense to loot them while they're right here. Oh, well, we have a free med kit right here, so it makes sense to spend it now. Twas a free one. Give me. We can do this. Aha! There it is. Sometimes the looting is finicky. Okay. That's some good accuracy, though. That was one of the guys we killed earlier. There we go. There was a guy up here. This is the other one I was thinking of. Okay. Beautiful. I think that was all of the bodies. Oh. Last thing I can think of for bodies is by the boat. There's a couple of guys by the boat, and I just one tapped him. It was very brutal. Although it looks like I either might have gotten them. Yeah, okay. It looks like I uh, already got them. Anyway, okay, so uh, our next main mission is at Amaki, Amaniki Village, I guess. So let's go and uh, I say let's just go. Okay, here we are. So uh, makes sense to empty the old inventory first. Okay, and then refill my ammo, which is only 80 bucks, which is golden. Plus, we even have body armor equipped. 
Dennis, what's up, bro? What's happened? Vas prepares to attack our village. He is gathering weapons even as we speak now. My friends are in trouble too. What did the message say? They've been taken to somewhere called PC. Vas is gonna ransom them and then sell them anyway. Oh, this is good then. You have time. Jason, please, fight for us. The Rakyat will be murdered. If you can sabotage the weapons, it'll weaken Vas. It'll be easier to kill. I'll do it. Ah. I knew we could count on you. The pirate stuck weapons in the logging camp in the jungle. Shut off the alarm first, okay? If it is triggered, they will secure the weapon shed. Steal the explosives, then destroy the weapons. You got that? Okay. Good luck. All right. Playing the soldier. Spoiler. Sorry, can't read. It's like playing the soldier. Not at all what that said. All right. And that is down yonder. And there's a trial of the Rakyat, which I'm a little curious to see what that's about. There's also a supply drop, which could be honest, I'm much more curious about. I like the supply drop missions because it's just a race, you know? All right, let's run up here. Let's grab a green leaf on the way. Green leaves are the only ones that I value. I don't, the other ones, it's like, they're like boosts and stuff, but I'm just never going to use them. That's just not, I mean, I'm just never going to remember what each one does. And I'm, I mean, I might rarely sometimes use the hunting ones, but otherwise, probably not. So, it's uh, unlikely. So the only ones I will really use are the uh, green ones. So, they're the only ones I put, I hope, any kind of stock in, to be honest. Whoa. It's really, it's really uneven. Oh. Nailed it. An easy cheesy one. Okay. Anyway, free money, free experience. Okay. Easy cheesy. I'm a little curious what this trial of the Rakyat is. It looks like it's that way, is that true? Yes. I mean, we could look. I feel like I remember really not liking it, and I'm curious to be like, did I really not like it, or was it, you know, like, was there a reason? Like, was it, was there, uh, was there like, an irritating mechanic, or was there a reason I didn't like it, or, or what? It has my name on it, that's kind of interesting. Kill as many enemies as possible using the weapons provided. Oh! Interesting. Well, that's probably why I didn't like it. It was like a... Weird. Should I do it? I mean, I've obviously I've already done it. You can see my username. So, I think this is the only one I've ever actually done. But that should... That, I think that means it doesn't disappear then. Because, like, it's not going anywhere. Okay, so that's like a killing weapon, you know, it's like waves of enemies, it's like a horde mode, basically, okay. I got you. And I'm okay with that, I just was curious. Alright, well I'm thinking another radio tower, because I want more guns. <laughs> Which is always what, you know, it's often what drives me, so. Alright, I'm thinking let's go to this one, and then we'll drive this road following the beach all the way south. Okay, uh, so you might be wondering what the heck I'm doing up here. It's, it's the way to go, okay? But I couldn't help but notice... Oh, look at that. Anyway. I drove my ATV across the, the little bridge as far as I could. You might be wondering how I got an ATV. Huh. I don't need one of these, but I could sell it. Oh, it's a pig. Okay. Well, I still don't think I need one of those, but... kind of need to... Ugh! Oh, that was a great throw. I think that might have been right on top of him. I mean, maybe. He doesn't all, He doesn't look all that troubled by it, by it, to be honest. Let's, uh... Let's just do this really quick. <laughs> unrelated, I just, you know, it's unrelated. Don't worry about it. 
No, no overall, no huge reason. Yes! Let's say, don't you dare rob me of that. Leopard skin! Neato. Kind of have. I wonder what this is about. Anyway. Neato. Oh, I was like, what? It's a relic. Which gives you, uh, good experience. More jaguars down there, by the way. I can hear it. Oh, it's just pigs. I don't think I need pigs. I'm trying very hard not to go near the jaguars. I think there's deer. I don't need deer anymore. Or antelope or whatever those are. Okay. I was looking for snakes, in case you're wondering what I was hesitating for. Uh, over here. Up here. Nice and easy. This is, is not a race. Okay. Make sure there's not a hole in the floor, because that's the that type of thing does happen. <clears throat> Alright, I think that is everything. But wait! I was about to say, there's always a uh, chest. Alright, anyway. Beautiful! Okay, there's a boat. Artillery piece, which we know, because that's where we were just now. Little island, full of chests, looks like. Beautiful. Radio tower activated. Alright, what do we get? Besides some sweet, fluffy experience. Uh, okay, did we unlock the faster movement? Have not. Takedown drag is tempting, though. Running reload isn't that, isn't, wouldn't be bad either. Getting this, so I'm, take less damage from explosive, explosives would also be a, a, a good one. Death from above isn't bad. Hip shooters, okay, I guess. I got all those. Uh, let's go takedown drag, I think. So if I move the stick down after I grab him, I can do a takedown drag right away. Oh, I have another point to spend. Uh, to reload a weapon while sprinting. Now, reloading faster would be fantastic. But I'm thinking let's grab the re explosive reduction. So I take less damage from explosives. Killer. Ooh, PKM is now free in stores. 1887. So we have access to a shotgun and an LMG. Beautiful. All right, I think we probably might have to end up end up grabbing both of those weapons. We will see, but it's fairly likely. All right, well we've unlocked this little block of the ocean. Which is bueno. Tempted to skip right on to the next tower. Because from here, all I would have to do is take a boat. Although it actually doesn't look like it's in the water. So really, at this point, going to one of these ones would be closer. So let's go ahead and relocate. And if I can just... Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and relocate, switch some weapons, and figure out what we're doing next. Okay. In our little safe house now. Uh, selling a couple of things we have. Refilling the ammo. However, uh, we have a new shotgun, the 1887, and any kind of shotgun's a good one. So I'm thinking let's replace the pistol, 
that we've been carrying. And then, uh, customize. I feel like I'll probably like it because I love shoddies. Shoddy to the body. So, we can have one attachment, so choose wisely. There's sights, which I feel like it's a shotgun, so like extended mag makes sense. So let's go ahead and give it an extended mag. And then colors, we have dry lands, we have jungle, tribal, which I really like, black, which is kind of slick, white, which is much sexier. I like the white one, but I also really like tribal. Let's go tribal on this one. Nice. I got a new shotgun. And then the other one I got was an LMG. PKM, which I feel like it's worth it. I think we can replace my STG. There's no attachments for it. However, we can go uh, dry lands, jungle, sand, deep jungle, fire, and old school. Definitely fire. Nice. Got some new weapons, which is always exciting. Always exciting. Booyah. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. So, the question is, we want to head towards the next radio tower? It's pretty near my actual mission, funnily enough. Let's do it! Alright, we're about as close as I could get, but this little car doesn't like climbing the rocks. It's very, very skittish. So, I think we will, uh, make do on foot the rest of the way. Because, yeah, I didn't like climbing that last little trail. He was being difficult about it. But we're almost at the top. I feel like some of these are guarded. But maybe I mean but maybe I am just picturing Far Cry 4. Cause uh, I haven't seen any guards on them yet. I'm also watching for snakes, cause and again, might be thinking of Far Cry 4. Because I feel like in at least in four they're there's always they're always covered in in wildlife, bees. Uh, guards, that type of thing. So it is like more of an endeavor to actually clear them. Whereas, uh, obviously in 3, as you've seen, it's been pretty free so far. It's free real estate. Wonder what we're gonna get for free this time, eh? Wouldn't it be funny if there was a hole right in front of the ladder so you actually couldn't get to it? The only way I can think of would be maybe you could, uh... Maybe you could, like, jump to the ladder, but... I'm not saying that's a really good option, I'm just saying maybe. Maybe. But this is usually what I do, is I usually focus down the radio towers, because you get, obviously, guns for free. Um, but also the main thing is so that it opens the map, so you can see what creatures, what key locations, what outposts, the roads, you know, so I usually focus the radio towers just for this reason. Is because obviously, vision. Get vision of the map. And then I often will get as many as feel like fairly reasonable. And then I will then I will hit, you know, different uh, outposts that are nearby or whatever. Now free in stores, flamethrower. And the A two thousand. Nothing I will use. Ooh, M M one thirty three, the next shotgun. Well, I guess I could see which one is better. The one I, the one I just picked up, or the M30, M133, or whatever. There's also a uh, supply line mission down there. It's good you don't take health damage when you come screaming off those little tops, you know? You know? Alright, let's do it! I'm ready. Flying. Oh, we're lucky there was a railing. Because <laughs> I would have gone right into the river if not for that railing. Let's say you better shoot quick there, brother, because. Well, I'm upside down. Alright, anyway. It's fine. I think I'm uh, falling off a cliff. Why am I backwards? Oh, 
We did it. It wasn't easy. By and large, because I couldn't see anything. Anyway. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alright. So let's see. We could do the next story mission. We could clear an outpost. All good options. There is lots of outposts to choose from. That's for sure. I'm tempted to clear the outpost right behind me, which really we could just do. It's only 196 away. Alright. I think I will, uh... Probably just walk. It's not that far away, and, uh... Getting approached from the jungle side might be a, uh, a smart maneuver. If I got a little loud with this one, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I would love to test my shotgun. And plus, we just got another shotgun, so it's like, might be a good time. But this is pretty wide open, so it's a pretty ripe target for infiltration. So it might not be much of a plan. But let's see. Okay, so... He's not an actual sniper. I mean, it's, it's blurry, and I can't actually see it, but... I think that might be a lightning bolt, and if that's the case, then he's not an actual sniper. Looks like there is one alarm, but we'll have to get closer. Yes, he is a lightning bolt guy, so he's so he's not a sniper. I don't know. What the, I don't remember what the lightning bolt means. Um, but the sniper has like an actual sniping scope like symbol above his head. So, All right, well, I'm, I am targeting people even though I don't see any. Okay, so there's one guy on the right over right, right there. Yeah, this place is covered in vegetation too. I tag tagged someone else, but I don't see a third person. Alright, we actually could get rid of the marker. Mostly just so I don't have to see it anymore. It's like New Mexico weather. Ooh, lightning storm. How cinematic. I could, I mean, I could absolutely blow that guy's head off with my sniper, but it's not silenced, so it would trigger everything. I might be able to make that shot with a bow, but if I miss, it'll be very drastic towards my chances of getting in unseen. It would be very bad. If I can get the alarm, I might go loud, because obviously they, they won't call reinforcements. Depending on if I get the alarm. Oh dear. Goodness gracious. Yay! Oh, that's not it. There it is. Ah, oh, okay. Lever action, obviously. I mean, I knew that because I read the description. I mean, sort of. But it's still cool to, to realize. Well, that guy's big gun hurts a great deal. Vehicles coming in. Never gonna remember where his body is, so looting it now makes sense. There was a, there was a, uh... Oh, I guess that other guy doesn't count. Anyway, <laughs> there's a gap in the fence there, hombre. No alarms triggered. Do you feel like a winner? Because you should. 
Ah, oh, I grabbed his gun. I don't want his gun. Give me my gun back. I just grabbed that. Alright. New quest. Love Eternal. New poker game. So yeah, this shotgun, uh, it rip and tears, dude. It's really good. So I wonder if those lightning bolt guys throw molotovs. Because I think I saw one of those dude. He was about to throw a molotov at me, but I hit him in the head with my shotgun right as he did it. So that didn't go anywhere for him. But I noticed... Loot that guy. Alright. Go ahead and hop inside, mostly to replenish my ammo. Okay, free. there's a free med pack right there, so... Replenishing makes sense. Okay, uh, let's see. So, uh, obviously selling items first. Okay, and then replenishing my ammo. Yeah, I'm okay with my setup for now. I unlocked that other shotgun, but I, I really enjoy the 18, 1887, so... <gasps> I'm okay with keeping what we got. Still, it's good to clear this out. That makes this southern little sphere a lot safer. Tem temple Gateway. Okay. I am tempted to, like, make a beeline for this other tower. Maybe we will be super irresponsible. Quickly now, I'm being chased. I got shot at. Looks like someone called for help. Because I think some guys have the ability to call for help. Let's get some sweet altitude. They'll never see me. They'll never see it coming. Right, I think I might have might have ditched him. I really weaved, with, weaved through some trees to get away, so... We might have ditched him anyway. It would be quite the achievement if they managed to keep up with some of my sweet evasive maneuvers. Um, let's see, where is the way up from here? Where do we go now? Oh, hang on a minute. Maybe here? There we go. Yeah, I think I might be thinking of four, which is when they go ham bone on, uh, on, like, obstacles, you know? Like, I feel like it's four is when they start going crazy. Like, there'll be creatures and they'll be, yeah, they'll be, like, monsters, you know? Animals. And there'll be guards, there'll be, like, bees, and there'll be, like, leopards, and they'll be, like... I feel like it's maybe it's four that I'm thinking of where they start going crazy on the, uh, on the towers. Because I feel like, because so far, I mean, we're starting to get a ways in on how many towers I've conquered. And, uh, there's not even, they're not even guarded. I mean, sometimes there's a snake or two nearby, but that's about it. Anyway. hi ya all right, let's see what's uh, what's the deal with this one. Maybe we'll get something really spicy. Who knows? Some sweet caves. I think I saw those on the way in. Some sweet ruins. I did not see those on the way in. And a crashed uh, World War II Japanese plane, looks like. Nifty. I think, I think they were called Zeros, I think, maybe. If, if memory serves, my World War II knowledge is rusty. RPGs, free in stores. Ooh, and the fancy M700 sniper. Definitely gonna be switching to that. Also, new supply drop. I really like the supply drop missions. Like, I almost always do those. All right, looks like it's behind me. Ah, yes. I see it. All right, quick detour. Quick detour, and then we'll grab the, uh, I think these are pigs.
Eh, eh. All right, sounds good. Let me in, let me in, let me in. All right, let's do it. I love supplies. Let's go. Boy. Okay, we're good. Whoa. Aha, he did. The second guy didn't avoid it. Whoa. I kind of turned a little bit sideways on that little part right there. Whoa. Nailed it. Wait and see. We will be safe again. Excuse me, boys. I'm just gonna. Thanks. Hey, no problem, man. Happy to help. All right. Lovely. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to uh, the nearest safe house. Oh, look. There's also that little side quest right there. We will definitely. We will do that, not in this episode, but we, we will definitely do that. So yeah, let's go ahead and teleport back here. Let's check out the difference in the snipers, but I think the M700 is a lot better than the uh, Dragonoff. I think is what we're using. So yeah, we'll probably switch, get some upgrades for it. And all that jazz. Okay, ammo, nothing to buy on the ammo front. Okay, uh, too far, sorry. Snipers. M700. Uh, let's see. It does. It's twice as accurate. You can have up to two attachments. Its range is better. Uh, its fire rate is slower, but I'd take more damage over that. So yeah, definitely will take it. And I replace the the. Uh, it's SVD, not the Dragonov, but I still will take it. So we can have two attachments. I could put a sound suppressor on it. Uh, I usually don't. So high power scope allows you to go in even farther. Uh, illuminated reticle. So it's useful for engaging targets at night. Uh, I think I usually go high power scope, I think is what I usually do. Let's go high powered scope, and then I think let's go extended mag. I don't think I, I don't usually go sound suppressor. I can see why it would be nice, but at the same time, I mean, maybe we should go suppressor? Because it would make some of these, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do a suppressor. I know I want the extended mag, but let's just do it. All right, so we need a new scope, uh, or a new camo. So we have dry lands, jungle, deep jungle. I really like deep jungle. Solid black, that's okay. Red, which is obviously my colors, but the red doesn't pop, you know? I really like uh, deep jungle, although jungle and deep jungle both look good. The red doesn't pop on this screen, but it probably will overall, so. Let's go red. All right, now let's just see what else we got. So. The 1887. So the accuracy for the M133 is better, but it's a shotgun. Damage is the same. The range is better on the 1887, and it's more mobile. So it's actually really similar. Plus, you can have an attachment on this one. So I think we actually got the better shotgun. So that's interesting. Uh, the SMG, it's just, it's I don't know, I don't know. It's an SMG. What do you want? And then the RPG. I'm not a huge fan of SMGs for the most part. We unlocked the flamethrower. The flamethrower does is really good for some situations. Think of it like like a shotgun because its range is not bad. Uh, it's it's not awful for close range situations. It's really good because it it's really good about killing like armored enemies and things like that. So the flamethrower does have its uses, um, and uh, we we don't need it, but it does have its uses. However, we also leveled up, so we can get some new stuff. We can go death from above, hip shooter, syringe. We already got steady aim. Uh, we gotta grab all those. Okay, so grabbing twice as many items from plants is okay. Uh, running reload, though, that's really, that, that could be nice. We actually leveled up twice, fun fact, but running reload could be really good. This will allow us twice as many uh, items from skinning animals, which could be really good. Would be convenient. It also will give us less damage from animal attacks, reduce noise when being knocked, or chance, reduce chance of being knocked down. Very tempting. Uh, then deal maker items sell for more money, which is good, and then automatically find more money on enemies, which is not bad. Uh, I think we actually have everything in this tree we can grab. So really, I could probably grab some of these, which would be might be wise. 
death from above, death from below, which will eventually chain into dual death, dual below, and then gunslinger, which different takedowns are always really good. Syringe potency is not that great because it just gets you into better syringe potency. Hip shooter will eventually get you into aimed reload, so while you're scoped in, you can reload with the sniper. That's not insane. Uh, improved hip fire accuracy when using all of those, that's just not that good. Like, this entire tree is not that great. Uh, I already got, I already got that one. The death from above thing, at least that could be good. The other syringe thing is also not very good. We grabbed everything we can in this tree. So, uh, either... Yeah, so either we're grabbing dual items from plants, which is okay, or we're going to be grabbing death from above. Uh, let's see. Twice as many items from skinning animals, less damage from animals, which could be good. Less chance of getting knocked down. Let's go death from above. Death from above. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Gorgeous. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, step outside really quick. Test my new gun. So this is our new our new sniper. We have as as you can see a sweet zoom in. Uh, it has it does have a, a silencer on it, which will make it fantastic for uh, stealth situations. It'll be really good for clearing out enemies silently for outposts and stuff, which is often what I've used it for. Something that I've actually done before is what you do. You, you know, just side to sidetrack my own thought is uh, the red actually looks really, really, it's it's more subtle, but it does look really good on the sniper. I, I'm okay with the red. Anyway, but what you do is you, for the outpost that's on the water, uh, you steal a boat, and then you, and even if it's not a machine gun boat, if it's a machine gun boat, you just roll up, and you can just spray, and you can just kill everything. If it is not a machine gun boat, uh, you can, you, like, park a ways off, like, a, on, you know, a ways away from the outpost, but enough where you can see everything. You crouch at the front of the boat or whichever, and then you can sn and then you can zoom in like this, and you can pick off like. And I've taken out whole outposts that way, where I just sat in the boat with my sniper and I just picked them off. It's a really effective method because uh, they have a very hard time shooting back at you, as you might imagine. They have a very hard time shooting back at you, and uh, especially if the outpost is small, uh, it often ends up working very, very well. Anyway. Regardless, that'll be a great place to call it. We made fantastic progress, especially on the crafting front. We have access to all four uh, holsters now, which is great, because now we can carry lots and lots of guns. We got lots of radio towers, we did lots of good hunting, lots of good progress on that. We did a couple of story missions, we did a couple of side missions. We uh, have, ex have opened up a lot more of the map, which is great. And we're getting lots and lots done, very happy with our progress. So, uh, tomorrow I have a job interview, uh, middle of the day, so it kind of throws a wrench in my otherwise good streaming schedule. Or not streaming schedule, <laughs> my upload schedule. Um, but... I'm hoping I can record tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping I can record anyway, and so we will we will see how long the job interview runs because I do have some errands to do. I'm gonna, I might try and spread them out over Thursday and Friday, uh, and we'll see if I get the job or not. But I'm gonna spread out the errands I have so that maybe I have a higher chance of being able to record. So I'm a little up in the air about recording for tomorrow, and then Saturday. I my Saturday is very very full, so I would be surprised if I managed to record on Saturday. However, I am so. But if it is able to happen, maybe it could happen. Sunday so and again it all and then all of that might change very suddenly if I do land the job I'm looking for so we will see what happens regardless that is going to call for this one thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the content today and we will talk to you guys later